welcome back everybody it's Jamie from Heavenly Dreams Dairy Goats and we had a successful overnight with the Freedom Rangers meat chickens that we got yesterday and they were born on June 20th so they are exactly two days old and I threw a nice little handful of alfalfa hay in there for them and they've been picking at it just keeping really busy and uh, cleaned their waters out because they had some stuff inside them so I cleaned their waters out I still got plenty of food and they're being very very movable running around being little chicks which is nice to see I think we're going to actually try to keep a rooster <laughs> and um, a couple hens to see if we can't get them to um, raise their own chicks and everything on that. So we will see about that after they get old enough we can tell what's what so we'll choose a rooster and a couple hens and go from there to see if we can raise our own little freedom rangers for our meat chickens for years to come I keep wanting to peck at this stuff on the outside I told my husband I wanted to get another one of those that we have these in and then we can move it throughout like down here that's what I was telling my husband we could probably just keep them in the bottom of this down here um, get all the stuff out of there but then we could just move them till they eat all this down and then Somewhere from there, we'll have to figure out where to put them. But, yeah. Um, that's, that's our plan. So, you'll see as they grow with us. And how they end up doing. If uh, we end up losing anybody. Or if everybody lives. Which would be a blessing. You know. It's always a blessing. In God's will. So, that's what we'll wait and see. And I like the fact that they like to jump up there. I don't know if that's just because they're trying to get warmer or what. But these little chicks decided to do that. Unlike the other chicks that were in there that never even really went in and used that little ladder. But these ones did automatically. So I'm pretty impressed. They're pretty smart. I would have bought more. But I told my husband that we don't really have the room for them. He's like, we don't even have room for 30 of them. Technically, no, but I figured hopefully in two weeks or so we could get one of those ordered. Um, they're $185 on Amazon and have it shipped here, but we'll have to see how it goes. And then we found a pair of shears for um, Bam Bam for $78 on Amazon, which I'd love to try to get for him so we can get him shaved. They're pretty busy all the time in there. Scratching around, getting up and down on the little ladder, drinking, eating, scratching around. <laughs> That's what they like to do. So I've got the garden going. My husband had me move it back some so it's not 
watering the driveway because it's making it mushy. Because I water for about two and a half hours per day. I really haven't been watering in the evening. I've just been watering in the after or morning. So that's what I'm doing now. I had about an hour uh, later start than I have all week. Today is June 22nd. I'm going to try to keep up on telling you guys the dates because I'm a, I'm about nine videos ahead, nine or ten, so about two weeks ahead of videos by the time you guys see them. But you can see right where it's coming, so it's not quite getting in the driveway. It's just on the outside of this. Yep, so we're good now. But I have it over there. It's definitely getting up further. I figured we'd go and check the chickens out. Oh, Whew, that was cold. It's kind of leaning. Well, hello. Did anybody lay any eggs? Did you ladies lay any eggs? Let's go. I'm going to have to dump your food out of your dishes, huh? Yeah, and I see you guys need some water. But not in that. You still got water, but they do in here. So let me shut this off so I can do this real quick. So there's Mr. Chex. What you doing, Chex? You want to pet it? Come here. Do you want me to pet you? Come on, boy. It's okay. Yeah, all right. No. That's a good boy. He's going to peck my ring. That's a good boy, Chex. Yes. He's like, okay, I had enough. back of my explorer I like to empty these when they get to the bottom of them every once in a while because it's just better that way and then these hold 17 pounds of feed so practically one 50 pound bag is gone just as quick as that. So that's that. I'll have to get my husband to bring those two bags up tonight. And then we'll fill these up. So I want to go around. See if I can't find any eggs from last night. So what we do just have them, they just lay random, the two older hens do anyways. Is that an egg? Or is that a lemon? That's a lemon. I threw a lemon out. I saved like all our extra vegetables and fruits and stuff like that. That egg was there. little itty bitty tree that egg was there okay it don't look like anybody laid anything yesterday I mean it don't look like that anyways what you doing that is a rooster he is a purebred so we'll be keeping him but the rest of ours will be gone. I don't see any. None at all. Which is okay. But yep, he's our rooster that's from these 
the buff Oriantons. I figured that the lighter colored ones, see how much orange he is and they're light orange, that those are hens and the dark orange ones are the roosters. So that's two, four, five, six. No, that's not him. Six right there. That would be our straight run we got from um, TSC. And I thought these two right here were roosters too, but <clears throat> they do a lot of hen noises. So I'm assuming that they're hens and they're lighter colored than what he is. That's one of those ones I got from my friend. So he's going to be butchered. And then I thought that one right there with the crooked feet, I thought that was a rooster, but she clucks like a hen. Yes, Mango, I know. Yes. Aw, Mango, her just wants to be petted too, don't ya? Yes, her does. Her just wants to be petted, don't you, Mango? See, she's a sweet, sweet, to people anyway, <laughs> she's sweet, little turkey. But she can be vicious to the chickens. So our roosters that will be kept so far is course Chex, because he's been our rooster. And we did have Tex that was like him, but he got ate by a, a raccoon or something. So we were hoping that when I bought these straight run um, buff Oriantons that we would got at least a rooster or two. So I think that God blessed us definitely with five hens, one, two, three, four, five, and one rooster. So I'm going to say thank you, Lord, for that because we were really hoping for that. It gave us six hens and a rooster, so we get to keep him. That one gets to go. So when we actually take the rest of our market chickens, we'll take him with us. Look at that hen. She's trying to get out. Which I don't understand why. Maybe she's got to lay an egg and doesn't want to lay in here. I want to get... Amazon's got a... A chicken egg... Um, hut. It has eight holes in it. I really like it. It's like almost $300. But... It's uh, aluminum. But yeah, I'm pretty happy. Yeah, that's the one with the crooked feet. I thought was a rooster, but she actually does a lot of clucking like a hen, and she's pretty. But she was one of those ones that we got that's a mixed breed. And everybody else are hens. Jax. Those hens right there, I'm not sure if that's a Black Jersey Giant or my uh, same as Czech, the Black Astrolips. But th there's two of them that are very talkative. Of course, Mango is very talkative, obviously. But all my Americanas, they like to stay away from us for some reason. They're um, quite shy compared to what Al was. Oh, she was an Americana, and she was, she was pretty uh, friendly. Like, these ones are not afraid. I think she's pretty. She's one of those ones that we got from Jess, and then I think she is, too. My olive egg layers, I have two black. <clears throat> I think, no, one black, but she's got fuzziness on her face. She usually hangs out with my Americanas. And then I've got, I should have had two of them, but I think I lost one. I, I don't know. We lost a baby black one. So I don't know if it was a, a black strelip or a black Jersey giant, or if it was one of my black olive egg layers. Cause I, I'd got two black olive egg layers and then two silver ones right when I bought the um, olive, or the 
Americanas. But the olive egg layers, they got fuzzy faces like the Americanas. A smaller type petite bird. And she's just running all around. Not sure where she's going. Just trying to find a place to lay an egg, I'm pretty sure. That's what it's about. If I could carry a 50-pound bag up that walkway, I'd try it. And that way I could fill their feet up. But man, whew, it's gonna... I don't know if I can do it. I'm gonna try it. Well, got their feeders filled back up. To the top, as you can see. And I put a bucket, sprinkled it out all around on the ground. And you still got that hen trying to get out because she's, I think, pretty sure she's going to lay an egg. And then I sprinkled a whole bunch over there where they're eating and put a little line for mango because she likes to eat stuff that's a little more thicker. But she's still sitting here pacing too because she wants out. Out of a hundred pounds of laying mesh, that's what we got left. Just over about 60 pounds, maybe 70 pounds max, but I'm not for sure. That thing looks like it's gonna fall. It's just leaning. So I've gotta get this vehicle backed up some. Put back up there. I think what I'll do actually, I have you guys with me. I will turn it off and try to reset it because it's really leaning for some reason. I'm not sure why. But we will turn it off right here. I should not have to water anybody but maybe the chickens. I didn't actually check them too well on their water. But I'm still waiting on these chicken water things you hook to a five gallon bucket I ordered 20 of them and I'm still waiting on them to come still no um, like X is saying otherwise nothing so I'm not sure why this is oh that's not supposed to go down you're supposed to come up. There you go. And then you're supposed to step on these. And it helps them go on the ground. Maybe they'll stand better like that. It's pretty soaked. Look how big those have gotten. They are huge. Definitely get some nice broccoli and cauliflower. I should start building some on there. I mean, my cabbage is starting to build theirs on all of them. So I'm pretty happy. And then my Roman lettuce. These ones, I don't know why they're not really... Um, making the heads on them yet. But my... My radishes, look at those. Whew. I got quite a few radishes and I was hoping, yeah, the beets are coming up too. You can see a little line of them. Still nothing really on my spinach and that's kind of a bummer. Well, maybe. I kind of went through this and I forgot that I had planted it and kind of like messed it up a little bit. So I'm just like, mm, hopefully I didn't screw it up too much. But, um, everything seems to be pretty drenched. I've been trying to get these to stay over, you know, standing straight up. 
trying to teach everybody to do that. And this one, I tried to get to follow it yesterday, like this, trying to make it probably one of them hens. Yep, one of them hens are getting after my Americanas, which is not good. I don't like that, but, you know, what can you do? Try to make this go this way so it kind of curves over there so this one's got space. And this one's trying to... I'm not sure what it's doing quite right here. I was hoping it would just stay over... Kind of like that, but they're getting big. I am pretty impressed with them for sure. Mine that I grew were a lot taller than the ones from the the um, greenery that I got, but I can't complain about it. Try to pull that up there like that, and this one's doing pretty good. I spun it around. That one's okay. This one's just gonna have to and through there. And that one. This one's pretty tall. Um, and then all my my green beans are trying to do their vining, which is good. Vine, vine, vine. That's what you're there for. I just still don't know if I got any carrots up yet. And then my peas. I just kind of got to push them over so they uh, do what they're supposed to be doing too. You just push them over, get them in there. Like that. And then letting the corn grow a little more before I actually do anything to this. Because we do have small sprouts that are coming up from that last batch of corn that I did do. So I'm trying to just see what we have. I'm not going to plant anymore, so whatever we get is what we get. Um, and then really weed this. Get that done. Same with this, I think... All the asparagus that did I did plant that were um, roots. They've already sprouted what's sprouting. So that's that. I'm going to turn the hose back on so it can finish doing its job. And then move my vehicle back up there. Gonna be back on and then we'll see what we can get into tonight so I tried to weed out my uh, asparagus bed here and I thought I only had these were my last few that sprouted but I was wrong I'm gonna take you through and actually show you everything else that came up and then I'm gonna pick all this stuff up and give it to the chickens but first I got this little one here. I got flies like bugging me. This one right here. 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 And then I thought I had one more. Yeah, over here. And then this one right here. So I have got more that sprouted. Which is nice to see. Nice to know. Um, this one right there is probably mature enough that I could pick it, but I won't. I'm going to just let it seed itself. And then, oh, this one right here. I forgot about that one. This one's mature enough, too. I could probably pick it. But like I said, I'm going to leave it. So... After trying to pull up some of this, 
we had some more sprouted from the roots. And it looks like a couple of purples did. Because I got my purples over in this area here and most of my green, but I do have a purple over here, I think. But yeah, that's what I did. And then I've got something going on with my pepper plants. This. And I've not ever dealt with this before, so I don't know if this is like maybe too much rain. Or not rain, but water. And it's causing them to do this. But all my bell peppers and my sweet banana pepper plants are doing this. Now my other ones that are over here. I don't see that on these. These are my red habaneros and then my jalapenos. I don't see it on them. And I'm not seeing, you know, like any type of other stress on any of the other plants. I got, you know, herbs going to seed, which is fine. But other than that, I don't see anything. So... I'm not sure what that is. If anybody knows what that's from, comment below, please. Um, I was just trying to do a little weeding and notice that on there. I'm not going to weed this side yet because I'm pretty sure I've got some spinach coming up. I planted two small rows, so we'll see. And then I can see right down this line right there of sprouts coming up from my beets and of course I've already said what those are my radishes and I can see now my carrots coming up at least from that end I haven't really really checked over here but yeah I can see some coming up so that's nice I was trying to do a little bit of weeding and here too just a little bit I thought I would try to tackle this but whew, this is going to take a while. So I'm going to get this picked up, put it in my bucket. I got to go to the bathroom real quick. I'm going to pee myself if I don't hurry up. Throw it into the chickens, and then I'm probably going to start back on here. It's always so dark in here, but I just I don't want to be running the electric. So because um, we have our air conditioner going, that's that right there. That's up there, right there. I wish that we could afford to get one of those to actually do for our heat too because I think it would almost be cheaper to actually do one of those for the whole house and then that would run for you know the rest of the house each room would have one in there and that actually cools almost the whole house by itself it does our kitchen and then it's little I don't know what you call this an informal dining room which I wouldn't eat in there because there's carpet on the floor but like my husband wants to do he wants to rip all the carpet up in the house and put hardwood floors down so my thing is is possibly there's hardwood floors underneath here but anyways what i was saying is is that actually cools that the hallway the living room partial of the hallway elijah's room and then his bathroom it gets to about right there our room which is in the way back and then my office is on the other side of our room those two rooms really don't get a whole lot of that but I'm sure if we had a fan, we could blow it back there. But we don't really worry about that too much. But, um, let's see. Can I put that down there? I just want to, like, put this somewhere so I can just kind of not have to really do much. <laughs> um, but I got a hold of a friend um, that I knew that would possibly know what was going on. She's also a viewer. So thank you. You know who you are. Um. I think what's happening for my pepper plants is that I'm overwatering. Like I've said in previous videos, I've been watering once a day now, um, two and a half hours, and it seems like in the morning or at night, they're still pretty, you know, wet. So I think what I'm going to do is actually not water at all tomorrow. Let that kind of dry up and then go from there. I will check other plants, you know, and see like my Roman head lettuces, they like a lot of water. Um, so I'll just wait and not water at all tomorrow. We're supposed to get rain this weekend, so we'll see about that. Maybe I won't even water. Tomorrow is Friday, then Saturday, and we're supposed to get rain, a storm actually, on Sunday. So maybe I just won't water at all the next few days and just let it be. 
And I think possibly that's the problem. So we're going to see with that. So thank you again for um, sending me that article. And I was Googling myself and seeing some other different things that it was stating. So I think between what I've already videoed today and everything else, I think I'm going to end this video here. Um, we are slowly moving up with subscribers. So thank you to everybody who subscribes and everybody that watches these videos. It's very, very important to me um, that you all that are a consistent watcher, thank you so much. And uh, everybody knows that I <clears throat> am unable to work from home even remotely like through my companies that I was working for before. I just can't do it because it's ruining my eyes. But um, I've got something going on that's about 10 minutes a day. So I'm going to see about doing that. And still trying to push my goat milk beauty products. And just go from there. And take care of our farm. Because we've got a lot of mouths to feed. And things to take care of. And that's what I'm here for. So thank you guys again. Um, I'm hoping that that will fix the leaf curling of my pepper plants, and we will see everybody tomorrow. Till next time, God bless.